Hey guys, I was asked to review some Razer headphones, so I decided to do that. I was asked, are you able to review the Razer Kara Pros? And I said, yeah, Arting's measures most consumer headphones. I tend to not use their measurements, though, as they aren't one-to-one -one with the rest of my measurements. But they are good enough to see problems. So I went ahead and uh, reviewed a bunch of Razer headphones, uh, put them on my database. Um, so I'm probably going to add some Razer IEMs and stuff next. So those are the two headphones that I recommend, the SimGuide EM6L earbuds and the Biodynamic DT990 250-ohm Pros with worn ear pads. But I added the Razer headphones. He wanted me to review the uh, Kara Pros, which are these. These are freaking terrible. So for whatever reason, he wanted me to review these. Uh, and we can see they're freaking terrible. Um, colored mids, wavy colored mids, um, a huge 4 kilohertz, 4.5 kilohertz cut problem, huge like 8, 9K peak problem. Yeah, this is um, really freaking bad. Like this is just like holy shit. You know, and then it's wavy in the mids. And it's got like a flatlined sub bass. So morbidly colored in the mids, morbidly colored in the highs, just ugh, terrible. Um, we look at the Barracuda Pros. Um, these are not very good either. Um, we can see they have a kind of thin and lifeless base, but at least it goes up, so that's good. Um, got a lot of... Uh, Weird prominentity around 1.5k. Got a little dip here. Got a lot of shout energy around, you know, 6, 7, 8k. Uh, a little bit of a veiled air frequency. So, um, basically you would get a lot of fatigue up here. A lot of, and then the, the mids are colored. And then it's kind of got thin base, but the base is actually not terrible. Um... It's just really shouty here and 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 peaky here, um, so there's a lot of fatigue there. We can boost it up at 60 dBs and see that instead, where we can see where it really just deviates a lot. Um, look at the Barracuda X. We can see the problems with the Barracuda X. Um, uh, no, 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 no. We've got a huge five kilohertz cut. Um, it looks kind of shrill in the air frequencies. I mean, if it wasn't for that 5K cut, I would say that these are pretty good. Um, not the biggest deal that the sub bass rolls off a tiny bit. This probably isn't even a problem. This wonky 300 hertz dip. Um, th this, this region honestly ruins it. it it's sad. Because this, this was looking pretty good until that 5K cut. That, that that just ruins it. You know, this was looking pretty decent, to be honest. Um, so that was the Barracuda X. Bar uh, Black Shark V2 X. Um, oh, boy. So this has a weird uh, 3 kilohertz scoop problem. It kind of looked like the, the other headphone had, you know, it had a little problem there, too. But this is even worse. 5 kilohertz cut problem. We see the whole treble is way below the target. With these two peaks, that's not good. Very dark, very muddled, not very clear. Wonky bass, huge 5K cut. This is just, uh, uh, uh. I mean, it's pretty freaking bad, but at least it has a lot of bass. You want some bass? Yeah, boys. But it's dark and muddled and colored. Um, got the Kara Pros. Oh, we already talked about those. Jesus Christ. We got the Kraken. Oh boy. It looks like they were trying to make like a really bass heavy V shaped headphone. You know, this is the ear gain region and they scooped all that out. They brought the treble up a little bit, but not nearly enough. Just a huge amount of mid bass and low mid emphasis, extreme sub bass roll off. <laughs> so we're really warm and muddy, really distant. And the ear gain to an excessive amount. Well, again, we can kind of lift this up at 1,000 hertz. 
uh, to see, you know, more of what I'm talking about. Sub, sub bass gone, heavily exaggerated mid bass, um, and, and low mids, bloat, warm, muddy, your gain scooped out too much, treble goes back up, you know, heavily, basically heavily V-shaped and muddy, um, crack in V3, um, is pretty freaking terrible, um, huge, huge off the grid, 5 kilohertz cut, terrible, very dark treble, but hey, you know, they did pretty good here besides rolling off the sub bass. So very warm and nice, you know, this region they did good. Then upper mids, treble, air is just gone and ripped out and just, it is just warm and just muddled, dark, bassy, but no sub bass rumble for one. <laughs> okay. Terrible. Now the Opus X, um, actually surprisingly well tuned. Um, main problem with these is the upper mids. So you can see the upper mids are a bit wonky here. Um, so this is wavy and wonky. That that honestly that disqualifies them for me. That's just too much coloration. So this is an example. They can get really close to the target and then screw it up at the last minute. And the upper mid coloration um, dip it and, and lump is terrible. Um, we see the sub bass uh, is flat lined, which is kind of weird. But, you know, they did pretty good in the lows. They did pretty good in the highs. It's just this. The upper mids are too wonky for me. Um, again, we can compare it to the DT990s that I use. Um, and see that my standards are higher than what but we but we could see they they got close it's almost like they tried i wouldn't be surprised if they copied the engineering of the dt990s but then they screwed it up right here so this is just what i'm showing you that like this was really close to being really good but then they screwed up the upper mids so the opus x um really l nice looking um and then there was that other razor headphone what was it uh that was pretty good um not that barracuda x yeah the barracuda x came pretty close too but again they 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 kind of screwed some of this stuff up um so the green line here had a better sub bass extension on the Barracuda X. Um, you know, it had good treble extension. It, again, colored upper mids and then that wonky little bump right there. Uh, which makes me think this is a closed back headphone. That's why it had some wonkiness right there that happens with closed backs. But again, that this was actually, they did these two Barracuda X. Um, you know, if it didn't have wonky upper mids and the Razer Opus wonky upper mids, both of those would have actually been pretty good. So Razer Opus X and Barracuda X, um, surprisingly good attempts. Um, I'll see you later, alligators.